for today's video, I'm going to teach you on how to change the StarCool controller. What are the things that I have considered in leading to the changing of this controller? So come and join me in this video of full of new learnings. So the vessel arrived in South Korea and we loaded 54 reefer containers. And after loading, one of the unit is giving this unit stop alarm. And what causes this unit to stop is the alarm 307 or the SHP switch K8. So the first thing I did is to open the control panel and see the SHP connections. Good thing that this StarCool has this uh, wiring diagram at the back of the control panel. So I located the SHP switch which is connected to the terminal 39 and 89. Then I located the cable connections on the terminal blocks. Since this is a pressure switch, then we need to check the continuity of the switch if it is open or closed. So the discharge pressure on the controller, it says only 5 bar. And having only 5 bar in the controller means the pressure switch should be closed. So after checking, I found out that the HPS is in closed position. So it means it should be okay. To verify, I need to use the bypass wire to just keep it closed and then run again the unit if the alarm will still be there. In bypassing, better to use the bypass wire rather than cutting the cable itself and shorting them. After bypassing, the alarm is still active. So then I have decided to move to the next step which is to check the X cables. So I plugged out and plugged in the X cables and retighten them properly. So this step did not do anything as the alarm is still active. So I have decided to change the X1 and X2 cables. And after changing, the alarm is, is still there. And the last step that I did is to check the K8 coil, which is to check the resistance. In which I have found out that it is in good range. So we have checked the high pressure switch 
and we even breached the high pressure switch and the alarm is still there then we check the coil of the K8 and the resistance seems to be okay and the alarm is still there so we changed the X1 and X2 cable and after changing these cables we switch on the unit and the alarm is still there so I was thinking that there is something wrong with the controller which keeps the alarm active so I have nothing but to change this controller so come on and let's change this Starco controller and I hope it will serve as your reference Changing, we need to remove again the X cables, the harness, and all the connections which is incorporated on the controller itself. You just need to be very careful in removing this harness as they have very small pins. After removing the harnesses, then it's time to remove the screws. Good thing that we have this spare controller. To be sure, after removing the old controller, then we just need to double check the details if they are having the same as your new controller. After checking, now it's time to install the new controller. Again, just like what I have said, you just need to be very careful in putting the harnesses as you are having a very fine and small pins on the controller. So after putting all the connections, including the X cables, then it's time to power up the unit. During startup, you just need to go to the configuration as you need to put the container ID, time and date, and the type of sensor installed in the unit if they are NSK or AKS. After that, I remove the bridge wire and put back the HPS switch. After changing the controller, then voila, the alarm HPS K8 switch was cleared, started to run in good condition. And the pressure is just 8.2 bar and after running for around 30 minutes, the unit went in range so that's it guys i hope you learned something from this video and please do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more eto troubleshooting <laughs>